Hello everyone and welcome back to Tiny Terrors. As always, I'm your host Mr. G. Today, we're talking about creatures that while they sound like mythical beasts, they are very real and uh, nowhere near as impressive as their namesake. Well, they are impressive just for different reasons. Today, we're discussing dragonflies. These guys are insects belonging to the Anisoptera infraorder. Despite their name, they are not related to flies, because much like how if an animal has the word fish in its name, it's probably not a fish. If an insect is named fly, then it's not a fly. Anyways, dragonflies are one of those all over except polar regions animals, mostly inhabiting regions near ponds or streams, since much like mosquitoes, dragonflies are born underwater, where their young stay until they mature. As adults, dragonflies are carnivores, and are debatably some of the most successful hunters on the entire planet, with uh, it being estimated that they have a 90% success rate when hunting. Dragonflies hunt by locating their prey and then swooping down on them like an eagle before devouring them. In fact, wingless dragonflies are pretty much unable to eat. Oh, but speaking of flying, this is the dragonfly's most impressive ability. They're debatably the best flyers in the entire animal kingdom. They can fly forwards, backwards, upside down, do a complete 360 spin, adjust their altitude without breaking a sweat, and more. Now, my personal theory as to why I believe this is the case is because fossil records indicate that dragonflies were some of the first animals to gain the ability to flight. So what I'm saying here is that since dragonflies were one of the first to fly, they've had the longest to practice, and therefore they got to be the best at it. But hey, that's just a theory. Now that we got that out of the way, let's look at the card. The card's fine. 10 out of 10. Now, when it comes to human relations, dragonflies are tied with butterflies and praying mantises in terms of, uh, insects that basically nobody hates. Whereas with, uh... Other bugs, it's usually the opposite. Even with bees, which people usually like, people tend to be terrified of them. So, yeah. But, despite their reputation nowadays, this was not always the case. In Swedish folklore, it was believed that dragonflies worked with the devil, and that one following you was a sign that you're going to hell. And Norwegian folklore literally calls them eye pokers, because they thought they could poke their eyes out. Actually, come to think of it, for some reason, a lot of European countries thought dragonflies were evil, with uh, them either being in cahoots with the devil or sewing your eyes shut. I don't know what grudge Europeans had against these bugs, but it's honestly interesting to read about. But on the more positive side, in Japan, dragonflies are seen as the symbol of autumn, and according to one of my commenters from Indonesia, if a dragonfly bites your belly button, that makes you stop bedwetting. All right. Oh, and who can forget, the base design for the dragonfly was actually the main inspiration for the helicopter. Yeah, if you look at them closely, you can see the resemblance. Well, that's all for this episode of Tiny Terrors. See you guys next time. Bye!